Fuel's solid, rip's good, it knocked down a tree, which is cool. And now we don't need to pay anyone to remove our trees. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. All right, gentlemen, I got a little uh, details on tomorrow's field trip I've been telling you guys about. Come on outside. Uh, <laughs> this meeting was just a distraction. <laughs> yeah, we were like missing half the people. I'm like, we gotta have a meeting, guys. All right, fresh Florida weather here. You ready for this? Oh, oh yeah. God, is a unit. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So tomorrow, we're all going to the sand lot so you guys can rip the tank. Oh, yeah, come check this thing out. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get a belt fed gun for sure. Yeah. We officially have a tank in the fleet, is what I'm saying, guys. This is our unit now. We got some stuff to fix on it, but this is our toy. What's up, Tim? Hey, what's up, guys? Dang, bro, you're looking good. You been working out? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hop in here, dude. Pull her down. This is so. This is one of three in the U.S. Like this is a super rare deal, and we're gonna go just tear the hell out of it tomorrow at the sand lot. <laughs> what's it? Are we going off the front? <laughs> yeah, it's got a hitch on it. We probably need to go off the front. Yeah, dude. Need some I know. So this thing, this is like, this ripsaw is the early model, right? So they have a newer one, but I like this one because it has a truck bed and a hitch. So we can do some videos like towing the jet boats. Yeah. Got a backup camera, winch on the front, winch on the back. So Gen 1, what's the Gen 2 look like? Same thing? The Gen 2 is a four-seater. Oh, so this is a two-seater. You know what this reminds me of? For all what? the Halo fans out there? Like yeah. Warthog. It's a Warthog. It's the coolest thing that I've ever pulled in my life. Yeah, where people are going crazy. Everywhere. Like, Rex almost had me. Like, <laughs> I tried to tarp it. And I Hop up in there. Is that not the freaking coolest thing? <laughs> I feel like I'm about ready to take on the world. Um, okay, ready? so up, James, the battery is behind you. The switch is in the center of the seats. Click that on. Oh, it's got music. Oh, yeah. Big tank guy, dude. Duramax 6.6 .6 liter. Big turbo. <laughs> I just like looking at it, dude. It's oh, yeah. the coolest looking thing ever. Isn't it just nice to look at? It's <laughs> it's insane, right? Well, you all get to drive it tomorrow, so just wait till after that. Rev it up, Jackson. Hey, just drive it off the side. It should... No, I think it'll be fine. Just go full lock left for a sec. Oh, go forward a smidge. Go forward a little more. Full lock left. There you go. Ah, you're good. Oh, that is so sick. The flex is real, dude. Yeah, you just got to force it through the turn. It'll turn. Go up the road in it. It will be tomorrow. I'm going to run it over. <laughs> Take it up the road back. Is that not the coolest looking vehicle of what all time? <laughs> what do we have we can run over real quick? I know, right? It's so like we have to run stuff over. So well, that sorry. There's nothing right there, so. You can't wait to hide it inside the door for when George gets here tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get used to driving it, right? It's like one of those things you're like, how does this just work? Yeah. She's a beast. All right, well, until tomorrow, boys, <laughs> we will rip it. But, Ty, I think you should put some flagpole holders on it before we go. Oh, yeah. So we can fly the flag. It drives weird, right? It is wild. It's the most insane feeling thing I've ever <laughs> Wow, feel the airflow coming out of here. Pop that up. Check that rig right out. So basically, oh, when you're hitting the, when you're trying to turn it, it just puts the brakes on the one side. It needs a bigger turbo, I think. Two of them. Two of them. <laughs> like a two hot rod, a bigger turbo. Yeah. Dude, that's it. Loser of the Colpo versus Spark gets run over. Oh, dude. 
Winter gets to run over the. Bless my spark. It's all right, dude. We just won't tell then George. I'll just, I'll just daily this. We'll just... turbo kit or we'll put nitrous on the spark and not tell him. Dude, we so the cobalt loses. Today. He's been talking so much <laughs> shit this You week. just said one thing and he just went in on you. Let's do it. Let's put nitrous on the spark. Today. And then not tell him that we just make him take the bet. 100%. Down. Winner runs yeah. over loser's car. Yeah. Good thing we just stayed going. Yeah. <laughs> they like jumped the trailer. the track a little bit back here did i yeah oh. she gets gripped up on that asphalt pretty good i was wondering why it was popping so it literally came over that trailer and like jumped it yeah did that track come off this right here <laughs> yeah when you turn <laughs> yeah when you turn on the asphalt she's she's gripped up with these guys <laughs> i know all right what's up guys obviously you can see we have the rip saw behind us i have purchased the rip saw from dave sparks for a couple of reasons one who doesn't want to own a tank two he gave me an amazing deal on this thing he valued it himself on the video i actually called the how and how guys asked them what it was worth and dave stole it to me for about half of what i could probably get out of this thing so shout out to my boy dave sparks but three it needs some love and we are willing to fix this thing up so it's got quite a few issues that really got to get addressed right off the bat it does drive around the parking lot like you're going to see in today's video but it definitely needs some love i noticed it when i was out ripping it out there and basically when he hit me up you know i already know it i've driven it he's like hey i want to get rid of the rip saw and i had already expressed my love for the rip saw to him and i told him if he ever sold it i'd definitely be interested in buying it him and i almost kind of bought one together we were both watching one in an auction it was a discussion that we might purchase it together but then he ended up with this one but he's grown out of it but i mean really it belongs in florida i want to take this thing through drive throughs take it down the drag strip do all sorts of fun stuff with it definitely hit some florida mud bogs but before we do that i'll show you what she needs because she definitely needs some love and here in mcfrawn racing we can work on tanks now we're good definitely need to do the baja blast challenge in the rip so what's the baja blast challenge how many baja blasts oh. you can pick up in the draw through okay <laughs> it's got a truck bed oh and also you should know that there are only 15 civilian rip saws in existence only three in the u.s the rest are overseas so as far as rarity goes this thing is super rare and for the deal we bought it for it was a no-brainer we can probably sell this for double what i paid once we get it fixed up and fully ripping and i don't think it's gonna take us that long to repair everything so check this out just pulling through the parking lot i was able to get the track detracked a little bit see down here it came off but that's no big deal we can tension up the track up, up here. here just adjustable it's got some it's got plenty of adjustment left so we're gonna tighten that up this one's just a little loose and they're not meant for parking lots so the grip in the parking lot is serious so back here you can see like we got panels coming off a couple rivets no big deal a couple rivets this is the main concern though so you got duramax 66 allison transmission to a big old full floater nine inch so basically when you turn the wheel it just puts on the brakes on this side there's five calipers on each side of this thing but check this out guys like this caliper doesn't even have a bolt in it this one it's got two this one's missing one that's hot this caliper is completely ripped off so ty is gonna have to fabricate something to repair that it obviously damaged some stuff up here from backing up because when you put it in reverse and this caliper locks it comes yeah send it back that bottom one's missing a bolt and it just kind of messed up the brackets and also it messed up the rotors but luckily because this is just a four nine inch we can get parts for it it's got a fuel leak which is no bueno we just got diesel kind of all over the parking lot never ideal you don't want diesel on your asphalt but we'll clean that up the transmission is good but it does overheat so we're going to look into some better transmission coolers that we use on our stuff that have humongous fans on them we want to try and keep those transmission temps down but that brings me to a whole nother problem so if you come in here um you have all your pressures and nothing works none of the gauges work i know the oil pressure works and water temp works but 
We can't see transmission temp. I don't even know what these are for. Uh, the stereo is just completely screwed. It has a mind of its own. We gotta address that. This, I mean, really, besides that panel in here, the yeah. one with all that, the is not bad. this right here is a Dakota digital setup, so that's fully programmable. That's just getting it right. Yep. This is an easy fix. Just get a better head unit. Yeah, I mean, that thing's probably from 2004, yeah, I think, or 2007 when this thing was built. Probably still takes CDs. Yeah. I think if we just drive it forward right now, though, we can get this track back on. Yeah. Let's try that out. We also need winch controllers. The winch controllers are gone, but they're Smitty built winches, so I think that won't be a problem. Yeah, it's still a winch that's made, so yep. getting a controller ain't a big deal. Shouldn't be a problem. And then these suckers, these doors, I don't know what is wrong with them, but they do not stay closed. Like, even if this is... I, I see the issue. Right there. Yeah, that's just an adjustment. That's probably. an easy fix. But this is all wallowed out, so we might just want to yeah, pull the, this out and look. The way they swing down, it catches the edge and the pin's yeah. not long enough. So obviously the brake issue is our biggest thing. I definitely want to service the coilovers, but the brakes are, are screwed up. We got some broken brackets, some messed up calipers. Maybe we can put some TBMs on it. I'll fit it with some big dog TBMs, like be, a monster truck. A couple of the lights don't work on it. I want to fix that. Uh, all of these bolts out here are rusting, so I want to replace those with stainless. I just want to make this thing really nice so that it works good and we can make some killer content with it. And I can't wait to drive it down the street. Let's, let me see if I can get this track back on. Yeah, dang it, in my tank. Yeah, it's going to get some Starbucks. <sighs> can't wait to do that. <laughs> the ultimate Florida man mm. thing is to take a tank to a Taco Bell, right? Oh, 100%. Texas Roadhouse. You peaked <laughs> in Florida once you have your tank get you your Taco Bell. <laughs> detracked a lot of skid steers in my day and it is brutal so he said if you get it right the tracks won't come off no yeah. matter what you do and we need to get it to that point oh yeah and i want to beat the hell out of this thing get her dialed yeah you just want to like lay it up under the track and you just drive over it see his reaction when he gets here tomorrow this is a dream of mine honestly to own a tank that's like like we have a tank you guys that's not something a lot of people can say we have a tank okay we have a tank just let that settle in we have a mother effing tank with a duramax and this is a luxurious tank brother it's got leather seats oh my my mind was just blown do you know the inside sets of calipers the rotor that's got three spins with the axle what no like no exaggeration we got a tank now oh. <laughs> wow <laughs> you already have it. yeah that and that's oh, freaking insane that is amazing wow. it is a beast <laughs> check this out back here Holy cow. Duramax, big turbo. Oh man, this is really well done too. Holy yeah, shit. it's dirty. We're cleaning it up. We gotta fix some stuff. But she's bad to the bone. Dang boy, shining it up in here. Yeah, a little simple green pressure washer. Get her cleaned yeah. up. Yeah. Didn't Super even clean, know man. these were silver. Dude, yeah, I thought these were black. So we just gotta figure that guy out, huh? That's our biggest problem. The rest yeah. you can kind of get going. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> What the hell? I got this to run Teslas over. What the hell is this? It's a ripsaw. This is a real running vehicle? Yeah, dude. This is Kanye West ripsaw. No. Yeah, bought it. This is sick. <laughs> the ripsaw definitely makes some brake pressure. So you're done. Let's we'll see if we can get some hardware to fix this thing up. We can go test it tomorrow. All right, guys. Ripsaw mechanics is going pretty well. We just talked to the creators of Ripsaw to get an idea of how this whole rear end works. Basically, there's a spool in the rear end. These act like a clutch for this hub that connects this rotor to this rotor. So when these are clamped, the car drives forward. 
when these unclamp, the tank can then steer loosely. So then if you steer, these unclamp, this one clamps, stops that track. Essentially, that's how it works. So if you turn left, it stops this track. If you turn right, it stops that track. That's how the rip saw turns. Nice to know we have a spool back here. We don't have so to really worry about it's it amazing as much. the calipers can actually full rotation yeah. off that fluid coupler. It's and crazy. I would have thought that this was an open diff and then it just applied some brake exactly. and yeah, no, not the case. So that's pretty cool information. Don't ever have to worry about just flooring it and letting off the and steering and stuff, you know? Not gonna break a big old nine inch spool like that. You break, I mean, could. You'd have to have one wedged between an oak tree. Yeah. And well, then just full rip in high gear. And then they also said our tracks are too loose. So that's a really easy adjustment. He said to just add a half inch at a time on the tensioner. So we'll knock that out next. And this thing will be ready for the big old sand lot rip tomorrow. You guys ready to drive it? Definitely gonna be interesting. Never thought I'd be driving the tank. Jax Chan, how do you feel about the tank? It was just a little bit of driving they did do in the parking lot. I'm like, Phew. <laughs> really? No so, how much air you're gonna catch. I'm getting air in it for sure. <laughs> I'll drive it after you guys drive it because I'm gonna go hard on it. And I asked him about the chattering when he turned. He said it's just because he goes, Were there any calipers loose? And how many calipers were loose? All of them. Every single one. <laughs> one detached, the rest loose. Yeah. So we're good. We're getting it out. Full strength. Get in there. Get it. Oh my god, it's like a quarter inch. <laughs> Man, that doesn't make you feel good about your labor. No, I'm not feeling good about that. <laughs> well, we have a forklift. Start right. picking it up on the ribs. No, no, I got this, boys. <laughs> Don't. You gotta make more noise. Another one. Three in a row. Get it. Full, full, too. At about three eighths of an inch. Yeah, that's that's good strump. That ain't going anywhere. Good and tight. All right, guys, so check it out. We have this caliper back on. We have a grade eight bolt. It's through bolted, kind of sketch. The bottom one is the same big bolt and we Loctited the hell out of these. So should all be good. We also had to bleed a ton of air out of the hydraulic system. I mean, a lot of air. So we're feeling a little bit better about it. It's not perfect. We're gonna have to order a caliper. This caliper is just smoked, but it's uh, it's at least working now. So that's good. It's a good plus. Big tank, guys. Did we mark it? Did we yeah, remember mark that? It. Yeah, mark them top and bottom with the Sherby. So do we just gotta run the nuts back in afterwards so they're tight on it? Because yeah, I think I otherwise this thing will rattle That's a little bit. The Loosen the jam, spun them in tight. tight. Oh, you gotta wait. Oh, you got the downside. That's so, it's not <laughs> cool. Looks nice. We got Ty getting the flag pole holders installed. Oh yeah, yeah, we're making good moves. We're making great progress out here on the whole tank maintenance. Might have caught air. 
There's like a little jump over there we just hit. Go over by that bump. See the second one? I'm gonna try and jump it off of that. Phone chargers, what more could you need? It could just be burning off because we didn't really clean it. It was smoking at the top. It was a little bit when you guys came in. Just that one that was like. I just feel like the cooler's working. Probably got a little heat, so it's just smoking. It smells like burnt hydraulic. Maybe we'll have to pressure wash this whole rear end out tomorrow before we take it just to make sure it's good. Well guys, seems like we have the rip saw kind of banded for now. Brakes were so neglected that I think there's a fair bit of damage in that whole system. So we're gonna order a couple new calipers for some of them to get those replaced. Uh, looks like the track tightening thing definitely worked. The tracks are like, feel way better. The tank is just working great. Well, we definitely want to go through all the fluids in it too. We gotta go through the dip fluid. That thing takes some abuse. The trans fluid, the uh, engine oil. Other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh! Jesus! Ripping! <laughs> Oh, Sam, we won't be able to get home now. Oh! oh. Ripping. <laughs> Dude, the bumper's still there and everything. Mark still goes hard. You went too hard. Still goes hard. We got no ride home now. Now the rip is going to look like it sucks. <laughs> It's not loose. The one, the, well, the one that's cracked and the ears bent, yeah. it's got a little bit of flex in it because of that. But other than that, they're that's, not moving like they were. It, yeah, once you get a new caliper for there, it'll be gold. Oh my Lanta! <laughs> that thing just ate that tree, dude. I the door open the second I hit the tree, dude. Oh. He ate that. that tree. That is crazy. Oh, no. Went skating across the parking lot. This thing was whooping around too because it was loose. But my God, that tree had nothing for this thing. Freaking door open. Look inside. I, I see. Oh, inside. did it tree you pretty good? Oh, Ooh. Door, Ooh. Door. Yeah, door opens right before I hit the tree. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize. And all of a sudden, there's branches hitting me. I'm like, that's not right. Okay, guys. So we have the rip saw pretty well fixed up for the time being we gotta throw some rivets in that panel still right it already did well, we have fixed most of the stuff up that needs to be fixed it's still a little weird i think it might need just a little bit more air blood out of the system it feels solid rips good it knocked down a tree which is cool and now we don't need to pay anyone to remove our trees because we have a tank yeah i just and, run them over now yeah i'm feeling really good about that so stay a lot tomorrow all the guys are gonna drive it we're gonna take it on just a hell of a rip but that's it for now thanks for watching new for dale we will freaking see you later